Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This video is going to be regarding JavaScript. So, let's begin. So, if you've been following my series, I've been uh, telling you about the um, technologies that you can use to create websites. Um, in my first few videos, we, um, we talked about HT, hold on, HTML which stands for hyper hyper text markup language right and then the other one we were talking about was a uh, CSS which stands for cascading and I apologize if I if I'm misspelling it style sheets okay so if you haven't seen those videos you can go ahead and look them up I'll provide uh, links to the description or links uh, in the description below but in this video series we're going to talk about JavaScript right so with JavaScript it's a client-side scripting language, which means that it, um, once you load up a web page, it, it runs it through your browser, okay? JavaScript, it's not, it's not Java, okay? Java is different from JavaScript, just so you know. So, with JavaScript, JavaScript is used for creating form validation or um, for using uh, creating events on a website or for um, interactive content it's a very useful language it's possibly or argue arguably one of the most used languages in the world I don't know if, it, if that's true or not it seems like it would be but um, if you have any any facts regarding that, go ahead and put them in the in the in the comments below. So that's what this video series is going to be regarding uh, JavaScript, and we're going to go over some concepts of how and why you would want to use JavaScript. Before we do that, we're going to go over some uh, concepts that you're going to need to know in order to use JavaScript. These are, these are normal, basic programming concepts. Concepts that you would see in almost any computer language today, if not all, as far as 2019 is concerned. So the concepts we're going to be going over will be characters and what they are and how to use them. We'll also be going over strings and what they are and how to use them. We'll also be going over numbers, numbers as far as integers, and I'm not sure if I spelled that right, but integers and floats, right? An integer is just, uh, an integer is a regular whole number. 1 is an integer, 2 is an integer, 3 is an integer, all the way to infinity. Okay? We're also going to go over floats. Floats are any number that has a point in it. So 1.5, 2.6, if that is such a thing. Right? Um, What's the other one? 2.14, 3.15. Any number that has a, uh, a, decimal, a decibel in it is considered a float. And we're also going to go over things like an object. For this lesson, an object is any type of software representative. Say, for instance, in the real world, a car, a chair, 
and a boat. All those would be considered objects in the real world. Well, in the programming world, there are things that represent an object as well, for lack of a better term. You've got, um, as we said before, you have characters, you have strings, and you have arrays, variables, and the such. So JavaScript is a very object-orientated language, and we'll be going over that. Now, some of the other concepts that we'll be going over will be uh, variables, constants, arrays, functions, and condition, conditional statements or condition statements. We'll go over loops. We'll also go over operators. And we'll also go over comments. So we'll need to go over and gain a familiarity with these uh, programming concepts. We need to do that before we, or we'll need to do that in order to use JavaScript. Because, as we said, it's a programming language, and you'll need to learn what all these different um, these types of things are, all these concepts are, in order to use JavaScript. But don't worry, it's not going to be difficult. It's not going to be that hard. And the great thing about learning all this is, this is something, as I said earlier, that you will find common in a lot of different programming languages especially today. Um, the concepts that you learn here for JavaScript, you'll be able to use in PHP, Python, Ruby, and, and some of the older languages as well, as far as C, C++, um, other languages uh, such as C sharp and a whole host of others right so these concepts once you learn these it'll be easier for you to pick up the other computer programs as well so pay along I hope you watch more of my videos on JavaScript we'll go over these these concepts and we'll learn how to use JavaScript now also, if I hadn't mentioned, you want to use JavaScript in this in this context. We'll be using it on a website. We will be embedding JavaScript JavaScript code into a HTML file. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. I hope you stick around for my JavaScript video series. So thank you very much. I hope you like and subscribe and stick around for the next video. Bye-bye.